Residents of Marigat in Baringo County took to the streets protesting the poor state of health in Marigat hospitals. In Marigat Hospital, I beg your pardon. The locals say the hospital lacks drugs, ambulances, as well as a sufficient workforce. They claim county officials have misplaced priorities and are not reinvesting into the county and the needs of the people. The sight and smell of the burning rubber was a clear indication that all was not well in Marigat town in Baringo County. This lot of unruly residents had reached their last resort, hopeful that their cries will not fall on deaf ears. <laughs> Na kama kuna dawa inakuja, watu ambie wanausia wapi. Kwa sabu nandikiwa kadi na unambuwa nda sibudhali vulani. Kwa kadi nyewe ni 150. Aya kadi nyewe ni 150. Sasa biyashara nye uko uko ni ya magadi. The residents say they have been forced to seek medical care elsewhere due to the poor state of Marigat Hospital. Two children are said to have died following a road accident in Mesori area in Baringo South due to lack of an ambulance. Maskini ya chini anaumia sababu ya matibabu hakuna. Maskini ya kingia hospitali anakuja kulala hapa mbaka wakati anakufa, anapele kwa nyumbana, anaenda kuwekwa. Tajiri ya kingia, anaenda kumunua dawasake, anaendelea na safari. So sisi watu ya nyaritu wa maasalas, tunaumia. Chitu nauliza lemnemu. Hii dawa kila siku inaletu hapa inausiwa nani? Inausiwa nani? Chitu nauliza lemnemu hii dawa hiyo kuja. Aya, tunataka tuulisa ujama metsu. Kuna jama na ito metsu niya mjui metsu hui ngelechei. Huyu ngelechei administrator. Ya daktari mkubo ya ya sibitali. Ajawai onekana na ajawai sema shida yetu ambayo ito tunapata yapa. The residents are now pointing an accusing finger at the county's administration. According to the control of budget, 12 county executives spent more than 46 million shillings on a foreign travel and a leadership training in the 2022-2023 financial year. Speaking to NTV on phone, Baringo County Health CEC Solomon Sirma has acknowledged the dire situation at the Marigat Hospital, saying his team will tour the facility on Thursday to assess the situation. Helen Aura, NTV.